Five ways to use your sketchbook. Referring to the word use and not fill to see the most benefit for us creatives. Kicking it off with something I like to call timer recliner. A great way to break into that blank page and let go of perfection while also building muscle memory. Just like in the gym when we build our muscles, this is a great core building exercise for drawing. Get your warm up and your muscle memory in by going on a website or using anything you crave to draw. Set a timer, grab your favorite drawing tool, start with one or two minutes and build your way up to five, 10 and so on. Now you may get frustrated at first from the timer going off so quickly, but this is a great way to use your sketchbook to bring more patience for longer sketchbook sessions and also builds up courage and creative discipline. Use the timer for any subject you wish. It's a great way to build up consistency and hey, no pressure. You can always draw over something with a post-it note, but whether you're drawing from life or imagination, just let go of perfection here and just draw. Speaking of letting perfection go, let your inner child shine through and just simply create on your page. Another great way to break into that blank page. And I feel that no matter your style, whether you're a realism artist or an illustrator, a sculptor or a printmaker, this is super fun and I find it great for the soul. Allow yourself to make time for play. I love doing this with new supplies or play some music in the background and just let go and have fun. Here are some other examples of different mediums when I just allowed myself to make a mess, doodle around, and different things started to arise as I started this process. Sometimes it starts one way, and after trusting and allowing yourself to play, you surprise yourself on how good it felt. And when you let your inner child show through, certain elements, shapes, and designs will inspire your other, more finished sketchbook pages. This is a great way to use your sketchbook to allow your voice to come through. So make a mess with your new supplies. Pretend your blank page is your playground. Collage, paste some things in. Don't think about style or anything. And if you feel like collaging newspaper, using stickers as backgrounds, and then adding paint or personifying your supplies with a rainbow pencil, go for it. Give yourself permission. Also, give yourself permission to learn. Take a second not to create. Take in some information. Your creativity will thank you. To quote the oatmeal, creativity is like breathing. When you're making stuff, you're constantly exhaling, but you can't exhale forever. This great comic illustrates how important it is to read some books, go outside, learn new things, take some classes, because this indeed will fuel your creativity to do more. There are endless ways that you can learn. I'm definitely a note taker, so whenever I'm learning, I have a separate little sketchbook where I can write a bunch of random notes. Zero pressure, just a bunch of brain dump of whatever I learned. So this is another way to use a sketchbook. In this particular sketchbook, I was reading some poetry, outlining certain things that stood out to me, and that fueled some creativity and sketches after. Most of the time, after taking in all new information, words from poetry or books can inspire a brand new piece. Now there are tons of different ways that you can learn. I love referring to my own little library that keeps growing. And I personally love winding down and learning more towards the end of the day at night. Studies show that studying at night can help improve your concentration and possibly information can be retained better in the evening. But hey, everyone's different. I've personally found that it works well for me and what else I love to do is take some Skillshare classes. I believe that a variety of ways of learning is the way to go and I'm super grateful to share that they're also the sponsors of today's video. Here's what I love to do on Skillshare on my breaks or when I'm winding down towards the end of the day. If you're not familiar, Skillshare is the largest online learning community with thousands of engaging classes taught by world-class creatives who launch their own classes with a learn by doing approach. What I love is their vast variety of topics to keep learning but still stay creative. I've recently been focusing on leveling up my space and Skillshare actually curates these learning paths which have five classes in this one and after taking the art of ceramics class I was able to apply it to my own place and my own decor. I've definitely learned that there's an art to that and I've also been taking cooking classes. I also love this class by Nathaniel Drew, where he shares tricks on how to unleash your creativity. And fun fact, I was a piano player as a little girl, so I'm definitely gonna be brushing up on those skills in the next class that I take. So if you wanna keep unlocking your creativity and keep learning something new, the first 500 people to use my link in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So definitely check it out.
After taking a step outside to learn and take in information, you can then use that fuel to take on an art challenge. You may remember my 100 heads, my 100 hands, 100 eyes. There are so many challenges that you can do for yourself and there are so many in the art community. And they will vary depending on where you are in your creative journey. Perhaps you want to take on a small challenge or use your sketchbook to make a little bit more finished pieces and fill up the whole thing in one month. And then maybe you want to make prints out of it and sell it on your website. Challenge yourself to make some new things. Set your intentions and think of it as a learning experience. Oh, and by the way, I always get asked what I use to protect the pages and these are just little sheets of tracing paper. Maybe you want to challenge yourself and go right out on location and paint from life. Check out my sketchbook date videos if you want to paint on location together. Or maybe you want to challenge yourself to turn your pet into a character. Think about what it is that you're excited to do. And whatever that'll be, pace yourself, don't take on too much too quickly. Set an intention for the challenge in your sketchbook, because after doing a few, you'll have so much to look back on, and you'll realize how much you've learned and improved. A long, long time ago, I started the 500 Prompt series, and some of those great ideas originated in the sketchbook. Whether you just started creating art, or if you've been creating for years, take the time to look back at what you've made. And most importantly, give yourself credit. Sometimes things can move pretty quickly in our world. We can be a bit hard on ourselves and fail to realize what amazing creatives we all are after all, no matter where you are in your journey. funny thing about life is that things will always change, so with every piece, big or small, remember they're all part of your journey. You can reflect at any time of the year and plan at any time of the year by using your sketchbook to look back at your goals, set new intentions, and see how things changed over time. will boost up your confidence, inspire new work, and show and prove to you how far you've truly come. Use your sketchbook to dive deep into your own ideas. Don't hold anything back, because you might just find those little thumbnails or plans that you did will blossom into some of your favorite art pieces. Whether you're using your sketchbook to create a time capsule of travel adventures from the places you left pieces of your heart, or whether you're capturing beautiful moments of your loved ones, whether you're making a mess or trying new color palettes you've been afraid to try, and tackling your fears head on, allow yourself to express yourself fully. Let your sketchbook be your safe space. Your best friend that's there to give you a hug at any time of the day. The place where little miracles are born. The place where you can do and be anything. And to quote one of my favorites, make your work to be in keeping with your purpose.